What is a learning disability? A learning disability is the failure on part of a child with normal intelligence to learn a scholastic skill. It is a what? Failure on part of a child with normal intelligence to learn a scholastic skill. Can I ask you a question? If your child has normal intelligence, how is it possible he can't learn to count? If your daughter got normal intelligence, how is it possible she can't learn to read? If your grandson got normal intelligence, normal, how is it possible he can't learn to write his name? Is it the child with a learning disability or is it the school with an educational disability and a teacher with an instructional disability and the school with an academic disability? Stop blaming the children for the failures of the institution. Now, I want to tell y'all real quickly how we decide if your child goes special ed or not. I'm going to teach you this in three minutes. It's so easy. Look at these two clauses. Response to intervention and ability achievement discrepancy. If you're taking notes, I want you to write down ability achievement discrepancy. When was special education started? 1975. United States Congress passed Public Law 94-142, 1975. Why did they start special ed? To force the white school districts to accept black children. Special ed was designed to give the all-white schools the permission to accept the black kids in the school and then segregate them all over again in separate classes. That's where the learning disability came from. 1975, what was going on in 1975? School busing! So first, don't we bring the black kids out here? And then when they brought the black kids out there, they would do what with the bus kids? Put them in the same class. So then the NAACP and Urban League, they stepped in and said, you can't be doing this. You can't let them in the white school and then keep them separate from the white kids. So the white folks said, we need, we, we need something we can do. We need something we can do. And somebody said, why don't you just say that all the black kids are slow? If we say that they learning disabled, we could keep them separate. And that's what the hell they did. <laughs> Special education is the new segregation. Come on, go preacher. If you don't believe me, read the federal code on special ed. Even the feds say what? That black children in predominantly white public school districts are more likely to be put in special ed unnecessarily. I got a school district where they took the black kid, put them in special ed without even testing them or asking the parents' permission. I said, damn, they think they in 1870. <laughs> they forgot Civil War over. So how do we decide if they learning disabled? Ability relates to intelligence, IQ score. Achievement relates to academic, reading, writing, or math, right? So let's say I test the young brother or the young sister over here, right? I get my IQ test. They're going to get anywhere from a 90 to a 109. That's average range. 90 to 109 is average. So if I got my Wechsler Adult Intelligence Scale and tested all the grown people in here, most of y'all would be between 90 and 109. I hope. <laughs> okay, I hope, okay? 90 to 109. So the young brother got an IQ score of a 109. Then I give him a reading test. His reading test is an 80. What is an 80 in report card grade terms? An 80 is equal to what grade? A C or B minus? One or the other, right? But let me ask y'all a question. If he has an IQ of 109 and a reading score of 80, do you think 80 is low enough to necessitate special ed? B minus, right? You don't put a kid in special ed. But according to the ability achievement discrepancy rule of special ed, and just so y'all know, a significant discrepancy is normally any score that's 15 points or greater. A difference of 15 points or greater is normally significant. So we said his IQ was a what? 109. His reading score was a what? 80. What's the difference? 29 points, right? Guess what? He's going to end up in special ed for reading just because his reading score was 20 points lower than his IQ score. That is how special education has been functioning 
for the past 37 and a half years, y'all. This is why I tell y'all to stop getting y'all kids tested, because all they do is look at two numbers. IQ is 110, reading is a 90, that's 20 points, she learning this ain't. <laughs> it's crazy, ain't it? Yeah, it sure is. But I just told you why they started special ed in the first place, to do what? Justify segregation. When y'all read my book, in my book I give you some quotes from some of the more popular psychologists. Anybody ever heard of Lewis Terman? who created the first IQ test in America, the Stanford Binet. What did he say about black kids? This is in my book. <coughs> he said, black kids can keep up with white kids. We gotta give them a what? A special education. <laughs> what about Carl Brigham? Y'all should know Carl Brigham, who's he? That's the man who created the SAT test that everybody gotta take to go to college. What did he say about black folk? That we was intellectually inferior. When you study the history of white psychology, the question ain't who was a racist, the question is, who was it? <laughs> when you get my book, they there. Only got 70 copies left. They in the back. After we done, though, listen, you need this. <laughs>